Let's call Jamie in here so we can come and show him our discovery. Hey my little peacherinis and welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 Broken Dream. That's right, we are back in the Villarreal mansion and it also means we're back with this cute little pet. Yeah. Little Phoenix and Little Abel, I think today definitely calls for a daddy toddler play date with Connor and with Little Summer. I think it would be super adorable, so I'm pretty excited to do that. And also, it means I have to check up on these little good ears because, of course, Max, what are you wearing down there, friendo? But these guys are, of course, just as old as Emily is. I feel like they've got 19 days left. At least they got to see a grandchild, but obviously, quite sad scenes, you guys. But we need to enjoy the time we've got left, okay? Let this be a positive experience and not a negative one. So if you guys are excited, please give this video a big, fat, juicy, hey at thumbs up and let's play some Sims for a Broken Dream. Why are the dogs always the biggest wrecks on earth whenever I get back? Like, can I just ask what the deal is with that? I'm gonna get these two to get on that. Also 3 a.m. on the morning and we have a small toddler outside. Can you like, uh -huh. Abel, can you fix this situation? Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever got to bed and it's been this much of a wreck before. Like what is even happening right now? It's even cold outside, everyone's panting, it's just gross. And I don't really understand what is, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna do this as a full weather update, but can I just point out, it's actually freezing. I think that's the first time we've ever had the freezing temperature before. But like definitely not good weather for a googie egg to be outside, you guys. That is very, very sad news. Abel, you're usually a perfect dad. Please, up your game, friendo. And Max, I don't know where you got this rig out from, but it is god awful. We're gonna have to fix that. We'll do it in the morning. For now, everybody needs to get to bed. Here we go, tucking in the cutest googie egg of them all. Can you please get into bed? Good girl. Abel, I'm gonna need you to tuck her in for- You already know to do it! Oh my gosh, I was gonna say for the cuteness factor. But I forgot Abel was born cute and has been marinated in cuteness for so long. That he is like so seasoned with cuteness right now. It's, it's just beautiful to behold, really. It's tasty, that's what it is, it's tasty. So we got some doggy bath thing going on as well, which- Wait, Emma, aren't you meant to be doing a bit of doggy bathing? You finished your doggy bathing. Good woman yourself. You need to get the butt into the bed because this this time of day is the witching hour. It's not for the Villarreal to be off gallivanting. And actually, just before you hit the sack, let me do a little bit of MCC. So, guys, 16 days left for Emma including zero bonus days. That is obviously pretty tragedy. I'm also gonna check on the calendar just to see where the birthdays are at. So, whose birthday is this? <gasps> oh my gosh, this Googie actually ages up fairly soon into a child on Friday, which means Nathan must be really, really close to aging up. So definitely, definitely gonna have to try and see if we can, like the search for him seems to be going very slowly is what I'm saying. Then we've got another birthday here. That is Lilith. I think she'll be going into um, an adult rather than a young adult. And then Abel's, I'm guessing, is there. It says Emma's busy, but I feel like she's busy being dead. Just saying. Wow, that is morbid, Claire. <laughs> So, Lily Bear is up first. She's only been to sleep for a couple of hours, but she is at this point, I would say, superhuman, so that doesn't really surprise me. I do need to get her back on the job ladder. Abel, I need to do the same with you, friendo, because I totally missed, this is for Lilith, that their careers are on here. Firefighter, oh my gosh. So I need to make her a firefighter, but then I need to do MCC to get her back to where we were before. Problem is, I don't really know if I can remember where she was before, but I'll try my best. Okay, career trees. I'm gonna promote her once. I can't see what she's become now. What are you now? Flames dummy. No, I, she was definitely above that, guys, but how high was she? An equipment controller. I feel like she was better than that. A security officer. Maybe we've gone too far. I don't know what level she was at. I'm just gonna leave her as... Oh, look, look, look. Maybe she was working to this because she's almost at those two skills, but she doesn't have them yet. So that kind of sounds to me like... It seems about right. Okay, since you're up first, Lily Bear, you're gonna go ahead and serve a little bit of brekkie for everybody. Do a little omelette breakfast, and then I have some looks to change. I have to change Max's ridiculous look. Oh wow, Max is up first. 
Can we just talk about how much Max is actually- Oh wow, that's a horrific face right there. Oh, I know why, it's because I need to pick a career for Abel. It's getting back on this archaeology grind. And then I'm gonna have to do the same with him. But I was just gonna say how much of a silver fox Max is. You know he's a silver fox, you guys. Okay, Abel, I need to give you that little promo as well. You're looking a little sick, friendo. He definitely got promoted at least once. Okay, look, he can't actually- he can't actually be any higher than that. Can I actually- can I actually- can I actually- Because he needs to achieve level 5 of the local cultural skill, so he actually can't be any higher than that. He needs to socialize with the locals in Salvadora, taste the local cuisine, and interact with local vendors, so that one could be hard to do without actually sending him to Salvadora. He has a bit of a tough sort of career for that very reason, but maybe once um, little Phoenix ages up a little bit, then we can go ahead and get those guys to go on adorable holiday. And poor little Abel, I know you're hungry, but I kind of need you to feed, I need you to feed the googie first. I just do. That's what being a single dad is all about. Put in the babaroo at number one, which ain't hard when she's as cute as this. She also needs a nappy change and a bath, so you know. You got your work out this morning, even though you're very hungry. I'm noticing that for some reason, Lilith's having a liquid breakfast. Lilith, I'm pretty sure I told you to make omelettes. Stop just having a coffee, okay? Look, Max is eating a good proper breakfast with chips. Chips for breakfast, Max. That's not what the doctor ordered. Okay, so poor little baby's eating the peas all on her own. Oh no, he's coming back. He's coming back to check her. He's such a good dad, you guys. He is such a good dad. A fire? Oh my gosh, where is there a fire? I can't see a fire. What? Oh my gosh, Lilith, quick, we need you, friendo. Extinguish this fire. Look at Abel. He just looks at it and he's like, forget this. I've had enough fires in my life. Look at the dogs. Look at the dogs. Oh my gosh. Why? Why am I cursed with fire? Oh my god. No, she's off to go check on the baby. Lilith, you're the fire extinguisher. I need you to work on this instead. Look how calm she is in the face of fire. Lilith's like, it's fine. Let me get on this. I'll do it through the bush. That's how they teach you in fire school, which is where I go. And oh my gosh, where's Abel? He went to go check on the Baba. Max is like fully burn, fully burn oh, this. I can't deal with more fires. <gasps> of course, Max would be so messed up about fires, you guys. He had to watch his wife die in one. Oh, this is such a really sad. I mean, emotional torture is not what I was expecting within the first 10 minutes of playing, really. <gasps> oh my gosh, he has such strong reaction to it, you guys. Oh my God, bless him. Bless him. Oh, Max, you poor beautiful little googie. That's made me sad. Oh my gosh, and look, Phoenix is like, fire! You're a bit late to the party, Phoenix. We've already, like, everyone is already aware about the fire. And oh my gosh, this thermostat issue is really, really annoying. This is the most annoying thing about seasons. I, like, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I full-on hate this. I just want a house where people don't wear outdoor clothes indoors. Is that so much to ask for? I don't feel like it is. Oh, you guys. Being a single parent is hard. He's giving her a buff, which is obviously adorable, but I don't know if you can tell. Abel is also sick. He still hasn't had his breakfast. Like, it's just tough being a single parent. But... It's kind of, it's kind of where you're at, Abel. Just got a deal, friendo. Washing under a little armpits. I mean, you could take the bow out of her head. She didn't really need to shower with the bow on. What a cute scene to look through the window at. Okay, so these guys are playing a bit of chess to help with little Lilith's, um, she needs, like, logic for her work. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of modifications in cast, because you guys have, like, you love the hair that I showed you on Lilith in the last episode, so I think we have to pop that hair on her because it looked <laughs> so good. Like, Lilith's the kind of person that looks kind of great no matter what anyway, but that hair on her was like literal top tier hair on the Lily Bear. This one, it was this one, wasn't it? But it was like a pinky color. Was it that color? Was it like that color? Oh, which do you guys prefer? I kind of like this sort of a color on her. It's like mainly blonde, but it has pinky hues and she's had pink hair in the past. It always has like a little bit of a hair that is pink. So I think we're onto a winner with this one. I actually loved that hair on her so much and she's the only sim 
him I've ever had that could pull it off because she has a small, like, a really, really, like, freakishly tiny forehead. So it looked kind of amazing on her. I would not be able to pull off said hair. Let's face it. Okay, all of her looks have been updated to this hair. We can pretend she got extensions. She just kind of fancied her hair long again. But that eventually, if she wants to grow it out and get rid of the extensions, she's got that option. Now, Max, explain to me where the strange outfit came from because I can't find it. So what on earth was it that you were wearing? I do not know. It's not there anywhere. Some of you guys were saying that because Max had black hair, he wouldn't get white hair, he would get grey hair. However, I don't really have a grey hair option, so it's either black or like that, which I don't think is right. So I'm gonna leave his hair as is. Just, just thought I'd come and look at him, really. No other reason than that. So now that everybody is eaten, the little googie egg is- Oh, she's eating as well. She's eating in here so she can sit in the same room as them. I love this room also. I think this room is- Majorly cool, you guys. Loving the furniture, loving the rug. What are you doing? Oh, you're putting your plate on that. I thought she was going to go like grab the rose or something then. Love the lighting that we've got. It's just a really, really beautiful room. Oh, look, the light was gone when I showed you. Um, but I think it's time now. It's the afternoon. It's taken us an awful long time. An awful long time to get here. Loved from Funny Face. Oh, I think that she pulled, little Phoenix pulled him a funny face. I think we're going to go ahead and do this adorable little play date. I can't get Summer because I don't think he's met Summer. So I'm gonna have to like just cheat to get her there if I can. I'm hoping I'm able to do that. But I really want the two little babas to meet. I actually think they're gonna grow up to be completely different people. But at least while they're kids, we can have some adorableness with them. And I'm gonna take them to the really cool park in... Um, Willow Creek. I know they can't use this stuff yet, but there's like a little part. I don't know if they'll even be able to use the swings, but let's just figure it out when we get there. I might have to buy some like toddler swings, maybe. I don't even know if they have toddler swings. I am hoping they do though. Okay, they look like very much like child swings to me. Let me see if I can get like a toddler swing. Oh wait, there's all these like toddler stuff, isn't there? Okay, I just need to find like a place for them. Man, why do they have to be bigger than Earth? Okay, I've added loads of toddler stuff here now. Now I just need to try and like get Summer here. Okay, we've got a little Summer here. I'm gonna get Abel just to introduce himself to her so she can join the group. She's looking like she's not really wearing appropriate clothes. I might have to just go ahead and like change her outfit. Cause she needs to be in like cold clothes. There you go. It's a cold day today. That's looking way better. And then let's get all the adorable gang of toddler, a uh, toddler. Connor, who doesn't do his toddler walk anymore. Abel and the two little googies. Where's the other googie? Oh, she's all the way over here. I need those guys to try and like say hello to each other as well. Talk to stranger. So that all of these guys can become little friendos too. And it's a nice chance for the boyos to catch up as well, you guys. Of course, they were pretty huge. Oh, whisper secrets. They were pretty massive friends as teenagers. Probably each other's best friend. They probably, I'd say, drifted a lot when Abel was going through, like, his difficult emotional time. Because, like, I don't really feel like... We're loving hope from Connor. I don't feel like Connor was very equipped to deal with that. And he kind of just wanted to, like, see the ladies. Let's face it. But at least now they've got a bit of an opportunity to catch up. They're both, like, weirdly hard kids at the same time as well, which I like a lot. And they the kids are like little spitting images of those two as well. Like Connor with his slightly more tan skin and blonde hair, and then Abel with his pale skin and bra uh, black hair. They're like mini versions of each other, which is really cute. Oh, and Evie's texting saying congrats on getting back into the workforce. Evie keeping in touch on the text, you guys. Look at these two saying nonsense to each other. Oh wow, they're well into their nonsense. In fact, saying nonsense is all they can do to each other right now, other than saying goodbye. So it's like they're trying. I don't actually think either of them can talk, which, you know, bit of a reflection on you two daddy bears there, I'm thinking. And why is Connor dripping wet? What's going on? It's cold. I think that it thinks that his outfit's too warm for the weather, but it's evidently not. So this is, oh, look at these two. This is a super adorable little play day. I never planned for these guys to actually have kids at the same time. But I'm so glad that they did. And it's nice. It's like a little support for each other. Oh my gosh, she loves Connor. He literally loves Connor so much. That's adorable. Ah! Little Bubba's. 
I love that they're mini versions of their dads, and they both had girls as well. And although it's, it is, the weather is pretty trite, isn't it? Like, look how miserable the weather is. Like, to me, autumn is, like, pr such a pretty season. Like, the world should be looking much, much nicer, but it's looking majorly dead right now. Like, majorly dead. I guess we're getting pretty close to winter, maybe. Maybe things, like, slowly start dying as autumn goes on. But I don't know. Oh, look at these two flames. I'm kind of missing, like, the prettiness and, like, the nice evenings, but... What can you do, you guys? Oh, she's had enough for trying to learn words. Oh my gosh, Abel! Just picks her up and starts playing with her. Abel, you just love kids. You're just really good with kids. Ah, he melts my heart. Every episode, he melts my heart a little bit more, you guys. Look at him. With little Summer. Just be careful you don't make her dizzy. I don't know where Connor's gone, but the last thing you want to do is just, like, drop his child. Oh, he's made everybody some dinner. Oh, my gosh. Come on, you guys. Let's get a little burger room. Connor, you are such a different money to the money you were, and I much prefer this version of you. And oh my gosh, my hair is so messy. <laughs> what 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 is this squid even doing? Hello. So as cute as this is, we've got a little burger eater here. It's so dark. We've got Phoenix at the top of there all on her own, which is a little bit worrying. And we've got these guys catching up over here. It is 8 p.m. So I'd love this to go on for hours and hours and hours because this is like my favorite couple of hours in SimWorld for a long time. And also, Connor lost his mother. So it's kind of really nice that like Abel's coming in, cheering him up, checking in on him, rekindling the beautiful bromance together, complaining about the cloudy. Oh, maybe that's why it's, it's dark because it's cloudy. I see. I am gonna have to get you guys to go home because it's like half eight at night and you know, oh my gosh, like I'm enjoying this very much, guys. I am enjoying this all very much. We'll make you guys have another toddler play date soon, okay? I promise. But everybody, we're gonna have to go ahead and head our butts home. Gives me a chance to have my breakfast as well. Oh, so Abel's finishing off his good daddy day. By oh, what's that a book about? Oh, I don't even know what they are. No idea. It looks like a book about food. Oh no, there's a king. I don't know what is reading her, but super adorable. And she's had such a nice day, you guys. So I think they've both got their first days back at work tomorrow. Don't have a coffee. No, 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 no. Don't have a coffee. At this time, you Egypt, just get your butt to bed, Lilith. Because I think you've got your first day back at work tomorrow. You start at 8. And Abel... You start at 4am, you start in 3 hours time. Oh my gosh, get into bed right now. Which means these two, little woo woo was here, will be on toddler duty. You don't get music when you woo woo, you guys. What's the deal with that? I think that's discrimination. These poor guys as well are having to like work into old age to, for the bills for the house. Because we, we know full well that Abel and um, Lilith had no intention of working very hard as teenagers. So as a result, they're a little bit slower on their career ladder. Too much partying as teenagers, too much going out, not enough actual work. So we're gonna send little Abel Aru off into work and then you got yours in a couple of hours. You might actually have to go for a jog before work. I know you hate doing that, Lilith, but you need to up your fitness skill and your logic skill. So off she goes, you guys. I told you she wouldn't be happy about it. She's on an angry junk like literally look how mad she looks about this so that's kind of how i feel every time i jog i'm like why am i doing this i could just be in a car i hate this i'm never going to enjoy jogging i'm never going to be one of those people that just like gets a high off it i don't know why i'm doing it and grandparents you are on baba duty today so you have to wake up i know you're tired i know you need to eat and i know you need the toilet but babies come first toddlers aren't easy you guys oh look at this emma is actually swooped in there we had a plan emma you've just totally wrecked it well done max max come through and saved the day there you go now just don't throw it on the floor okay because you're starving so just eat it try and eat it more like a normal human being maybe that would be grand i know you're sad and i know you miss abel but he's working today why do i keep going back through this wall in fact let's make sure he's working hard oh my gosh and look at the dogs oh, the dogs begging for food from her you guys naughty doggos do they not have any food of their own yeah they got tons of food they just be naughty. Aren't you meant to be at work? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, she just jogged away away from work. And Max is doing just a little bit of potty training. 
He has work in six minutes time, so... Felix, if you can poop really fast, that would be grand. Oh, I'm great. Grandma's looking after her. Grandma's riddled with spots. Please don't pass that on to the child, Emma. Oh, well done, Max. Phoenix can now use the potty chair. However, Max, you need to get to work. Here you go. Oh, look at his work outfit. Oh my gosh, so suave, but also old and walking with a little crick in your back there. Oh, look, Emma is reading little um, Phoenix, one of her books that she actually wrote for her. That is a pretty nice grandma thing to do, you guys. She's still got a few more books to write for her. I think she's got, like, Good Night, Little Light. Wait, is that the first one she's already done? No, she's doing Good Night, Little Bright. Oh, you guys told me two more really good ideas. Maybe we could do, like, Hold Tight, Little Light. As I to say, we're going to believe in you, but we always love you, okay? Oh, and she's super, super sad about Abel not being there. Oh, and we've got bills for £12,000. <laughs> okay, the Baba is in bed. Okay, I think this is a pretty good opportunity to do a little bit of writing. At your beautiful little area to write, let's go ahead and write a children's book. What did I say? Hold tight, little light. I think that's a nice one. There we go. Hold tight, little light. And then sleep tight, little light. That would be a nice one as well. Loads of ideas. In fact, I'm going to queue that one up in the inventory. Oh, the doggos stay in here, like, with Phoenix all day long, like, guarding her while a parent is away. That's so cute. Although Abel is home now, giving little Phoenix a little tuck in just as he gets home. Oh my gosh, I just love him. I just love him. I just love him. You are pretty gross though, so why don't you go ahead and get yourself a little bath, okay? Oh, and Lily Bear's come home, still angry. The rage that's lasted all day. What did we say? Sleep tight. Sleep tight, little light. Yeah, Lily Bear's rage has lasted throughout the morning, all through work, and into the late afternoon. Well done, Lilith. Where even are you? Where have you come home to? Who is this child? Wait, wait, wait one hot minute. Kelsey Villarreal. I think you need to go introduce yourself to this child because I feel like you are related to her. Oh, wait, is there two Villarreals there? Who's this one? No, you're not, you're not related to him. Who is this Kelsey, though? They must be on the same family tree as each other. Although they kind of hate each other, so that's grand. Kelsey. It's her cousin. It's actually her cousin. Let's family tree this bad boy up. So, I guess it's Max's sister's child. Oh. <gasps> Danielle and Kelsey are actually Lilith's cousins. And for whatever reason, they kind of hate each other. So that's interesting. Also, she does not have the Villarreal eyes. That must be a Max only thing. Oh, wow. She is now sending a noxious cloud to the child. Like what? Oh, you're happy now that you get to troll a child. I see how it is. Get your butt home, Lilith. They're your cousins. You're meant to be nice to them. Oh. And Connor's like, I heard you got a promotion. I think dinner at the Fire and Flames would be a perfect way to celebrate. That's his mum's restaurant. Oh my gosh. Yes, that sounds lovely. Why don't you go ahead and bring... Oh, where's Wifey? Wifeykins needs to come. How do you not know Erica? That's a complete lie because you definitely know Erica because you had the whole, well, they won't they as teens. Why can't you invite her? Something's not happened to Erica, has it? But I was going to say, when he doesn't he bring Erica and Abel can bring Evie because Evie messaged him about his job as well. So that would be kind of nice. Let's do a bit of that. And of course, it's brought me right back to the menu, you guys. <laughs> yeah, he does know Erica. I don't understand why she wasn't an option. That's so weird. Let's try this again. We can no longer do fire in the flames, though. That's super annoying. What about if I go somewhere like... I'm gonna have to go somewhere and then go back again. I'm sorry, you guys. My game is so broken right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is super annoying. Okay, guys. I have tried going between each restaurant so many times and, like, no staff are appearing. My game is dying quite hard right now so instead i'm just gonna see if everybody wants to come back home and we'll do it there instead okay look it's like half nine now i've been trying for so so long look my game's also stuck on pause <gasps> okay it's unpaused it was just stuck and i couldn't get it to do anything other than pause okay guys it's fine because you know what we've got a bar in our own house so that makes things way easier so guys have a little bit of wine able you can get out of those clothes okay you don't need to be wearing those clothes Got something a little more chill on friendo. No, no, no. Mum and dad, you don't need to be here, okay? 
Luluf can come, but the rest of you, do you mind just giving Abel, like, one evening? He's been parenting all day. He just wants one evening, okay? Straight away, the grandparents come down and try and do a bit of dancing. Not having that. Get your butt to bed. This is for the young folks, okay? Oh, and of course, the suburb stuff always comes on. He wants to go and deal with Phoenix. No, you've got your parents around. Let them deal with her, okay? She's meant to be in bed. Get your butt to sleep. He finds it so hard to detach from her, you guys. There you go. She's in bed. The lift's just cleaning. Probably should repair that, Lilith. Little... Just relax for one evening, Abel, okay? With your nice little friendos that you grew up with, have just one evening for yourself. You're a really good dad. Although, you do look a little bit left out. <laughs> just a little bit left out. Okay, this, like, I feel like Eric is kind of teasing him a little bit. But this is still nice. They're like all like proper grown-ups now. It's a far cry from the party days of their youth, isn't it? Oh, wow, Erica staring at him then as well. Not Erica. Evie. Oh my gosh, I need to stop getting those two confused. Oh look, little, little Lake has come down to check on you. I think she's gonna go do a little sleep in here with you. Oh, she's doing lots of this love business. And I'm kind of watching just to see if any like romance stuff does happen between these two on their own. They seem like very happy chit chat with each other, but I'm not gonna like force anything per se. What I might do is if I'm in, in the suburbs and we are, we're like with Connor, I might see if Connor can like encourage them to like hook up and maybe do it that way instead. Because I feel like these two are both just like, Abel's not really ready to move on yet or doesn't feel like it's right to move on when he's got a kid. And Evie doesn't want to just elbow in when like there's this whole kid and Ashley situation. They're kind of in a bit of a strange limbo, aren't they? Connor, though, seems a little bit more interested in watching the chat shows. Connor! Oh, Eric is saying it's late. She needs to get going. I think Evie's going to head off, too. And Connor, I kind of feel like if your wife's going, you kind of need to go also. It's just kind of the way things go. Okay, nice little evening. Well done, Abel. Good evening hosting skills there. And he's going to ask Connor. Connor is very flirty. He's gonna Raza, ask him uh, what he thinks about Evie. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's giving a Cal thumbs up. Zuba, I like Yamu. Evie, she's pretty cool. <laughs> she's got, got Connor's nod of Simonis approval, Arrow? although when it comes to Jets? Connor and women, Colossium. I feel like all women get a thumbs Those up from Connor to be honest. Oh, and look at this, the Baba has come downstairs to him. Baby, you need, you need to not be doing this. Connor, Ooh. we're gonna have to peace out because Abel needs to put his Baba back to bed again. These two are just so like, obsessed with each other and abel's got work in an hour that 4am start is an absolute killer <gasps> why does this always happen hey abel it's me ashley do you want to go on a date to the funeral church graveyard no thanks pal oh my gosh she she he just told her how does how do the girls know when you're seeing another girl like how does that happen to me every single time i don't understand how it happens every time but she knew that abel had spent an evening with another girl is she like is she in the bushes like oh. ashley where are you how do you see everything that goes on like you must be hiding somewhere she's still trying to hook him in you guys the thing is i sort of feel like i feel like oh. she'll always have a clause in abel just a little bit because he was like so in love with her like so in love with her and she keeps like reading him back in just a tiny bit i don't think that there we've closed the the final page of the book in their story you guys but you need to get your butt to work now it's been a bit of a stressful day for you partying all night and then straight into work so lily's up and on her morning jog oh my gosh connor was still here i don't really know why she's jogging with this rig out on and it's put her in a bad mood. Oh, there you go. Now she's off to go put her jogging on. She absolutely hates it that I make her get up and jog. But, like, Lily, you're a firefighter. You need to do it. Oh, and Emma Fish right in sleep tight. Little light, you guys. Time to come and see your little light. Although, to be fair, Max is kind of dealing with this. So you're going to have to deal with the dog instead. Oh, cute granddad and granddaughter time here, you guys. I need her to learn all her stuff. So oh, wow. Oh, Max is a little bit sick. Do you need to be more worried about when the elders are sick? I do not know, but he's going to try and teach her a little bit about talking today, or at least he's meant to. But instead, he's just pulling funny faces and stuff. Max. And I'm going to get little Lily Bear to pop over to San Maishuno after work so that she can go see little Jamie. Ah, Jamie. <gasps> and, oh my god, I just gave her peace and she just threw him on the floor. 
But you're hungry, I don't understand. Try some scrambled eggs with bacon instead. And we finally got 12,000 pounds, which means we can give all of it away to pay the bills. <laughs> there we go, 600 pounds left in the whole world. However, Emma now has two more books to publish, so I need to do that. Where's my post box at? Basically the place where I started. So we've got Hold Tight, Little Light. And then why is that one just called Children's? You're meant to be called Sleep Tight, Little Light. This little girl, by the way, gets so many books read to her. She will have the most amazing imagination in the whole of the world. She even has a whole series named after her in books. And Lily Bear is home, so Lily Bear, you and I, friendo, are gonna go over to San Machino to see Jamester. Okay, I updated MCC. I asked you guys on Twitter and you suggested to like uh, update MCC, so that is exactly what I've done. And it's working much better, so if you guys are having the bug I'm getting, that's what you need to do. I thought it was on the most updated version. <gasps> Looks like no one's home. <laughs> Jamie, where are you, friendo? Where, where even are you? Come over here. Jamie is busy right now. Oh, maybe he finishes work at five. Never mind. Oh, wow. You, you are pregnant. Let's go. Let's go see hello to this pregnant lady. Isn't that Jay's sister? And she's married to someone new. Let me inside your house instead, okay? Is she, is she in labor? I feel like this person's in labor. How have I just got here and someone's in labor? And Jamie's home. Look, this person's very uncomfortable. She's literally a neighbor. Wow. So she's back to her little wife. Look at that beautiful embrace. There's a lot of love between these two guys. I know not everybody is a fan, but you can't deny the love between these two. Oh, he was talking about moving then as well. I think, and I don't blame the guy, he's so sick of living in this apartment. Lily comes to visit him and it's cool that he's got his own place, but they sort of hate it. And if you guys remember, this is where the well was staying. I can hear bugs. Like, look. Look. This apartment is super, super gross. And the pipes are dripping in the corner. And there's still met. It's just like, it's not a very nice place to live. It's classed as like a fixer ripper. But she still come around to hang out with Jamie. I bet she comes, she's in a terrible mood from the apartment. And the two of them are going into Noelle's old room. Guys, what is even going on here? Oh my gosh, woo woos are happening. But I noticed that there was a very angry face. A very, very angry face on Lily Bear's woo so. I'd feel a little bit scared if I was Jamie right now. Like, she looked like she was in a foul old mood because of the cockroaches, because of the rats. Oh my gosh, because it's, uh, it's just all a little bit gross. But hey, at least her fun has gone up, even if her hygiene is pretty shocking right now. She's kind of just doing, trying to do a little bit of a clean up here. I mean, we've got a milk sippy cup, which is kind of weird. We've also got like a plate and stuff in here. And she's like, she's she is super grossed out by this apartment. While she's noticing the plate though, she's also kind of noticed down here. Do you guys remember? The little hidden birth certificate that Noelle put on her wall. It's, it is certified that Nathan is a healthy baby boy. So she's like, who is Nathan? Let's call Jamie in here so we can come and show him our discovery. Hiding it behind a bag and all the perfumes. Jamie, look down here. There is literally a birth certificate that Noelle is listed as a mother for Nathan. Now, I think it's good that Jamie has figured this out because... If anyone is gonna know like Kylie's patterns and where she might be, it's Jamie. And also Kylie knows that Jamie doesn't know anything. So he could quite easily right now hit up Kylie and be like, hey Kylie, we've not hung out in a while. It would be great to see you. Look how angry he looks as well. Literally plotting in his head. It would be great to see you. Why don't we catch up at your place? Call me. Guys, that is exactly what Jamester has just gone ahead and done. Which means at the start of the next episode of In the Suburbs, gonna be kind of weird, but I'm actually gonna be taking control of Jamie. And Jamie is gonna go around and see Kylie and see if there's a baby Nathan there and try and figure out what has gone on. So although it's really gross and weird that they decided to woos in little Noelle's old room, it's also kind of worked out quite well because the birth certificate has been discovered. And the next step in the Nathan Kylie Noel saga has been taken. So if you guys are excited for that, let me know in the comments below. I also think Lily Bear came around to come and say to like Jamie, like, look, 
This apartment is the worst place on earth. If you want to come and live in the broken dream house with us, like my parents need a little bit of extra help. You can help out with the money situation. You can meet a little um, Phoenix and help out with her. Just let me know if you want to do that. And I think we can do that. So if you guys want that to happen as well, let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of In the Suburbs. I'm so glad my game isn't broken anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, I really wanted to see who lived in that house. I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.